Race number 10, the second last uh, on the programme, the 10th uh, this week, is a Class 3 contest up to the 1,800 metres, headed by Ping Hai Treasure, who was a winner over this trip on the all-weather two starts back and won over the 16.50 last mile. Vinci beaten favour over the 16.50 last time. Righteous Doctrine, fourth last mile behind Champion Supreme, who's here on a hat-trick. Regan Bayless from Barrier 13. Splendour of Gold, also behind Champion Supreme. His hat-trick bid thwarted last time. Red Elise, also behind Champion Supreme. He finished third last time out and down to Green Dispatch. He only beat one horse home last time out behind. Champion Supreme. Yes, a 13 pound turnaround though. General Sherman, Champion Supreme and Superhero, the horses that have been up at Chumfa. Setup of this race is interesting because there's a lot of horses in this race that like to uh, settle back in the pack. You can just see how many are in the in the rear half there. You've got Red Elise, who's maybe going to try and dash from gate number 14. We've seen him sit handy and win before. You've got Green Dispatch, who can race handy, but he's out of form. Ping Hai Treasure's been in good form, but that's been on the all-weather. Vinci, and what a run from Champion Supreme from back in the pack last time out. If he can get some sort of run from gate 13, he's a major player. Righteous Doctrine. Uh, last two runs have been eye-catching and he continues to work well in the mornings. He's a bit of a sweater, as you can see there, but uh, he's keen, going along well. He's finding form. Champion Supreme, massive win last start. He's gone back to Chunfa. Slow piece here with Monica. Um, I presume from 13 they'll just ride him patiently again. As you said, Tom, there's not a lot of pace, so they might try and be a touch closer, but I wouldn't think they'd upset the apple cart. And Super Elegance, he's back from 2000 to 1800. Jenny's mentioned on a number of occasions that he looks well and he's not too far away uh, from a win I wouldn't have thought. All right, let's start mm. off with uh, some winning form here then with Ping Hai Treasure, although we're on the all-weather surface. This is the 1650, mm. but as I mentioned before, he's won over the 18 as well. Well, this has been um, where he's captured his best form. He was obviously going around on the turf in previous races um, and wasn't quite getting it done, but he went to the all-weather and won once, then he ran a good second, and now he's won again. So, top weight, barrier six, change of surface. Um, I've got him in for a place. I'll take him on to win. I've not got him in at all, really. Yeah, um, surface his form, not uh, yeah, his exciting enough come on the all-weather, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. All right, OK, that's Ping High Treasure. What about Champion Supreme? With a few behind him on this occasion, I did a function with um, with Regan on Thursday night. He said this is one of his biggest thrills in the race course, this win on Champions Day, with his brother Jake was there as well. I can see why it would have been as well. He was slow away. Uh, he really lifted over the last 200 metres. You can see him there. I think he's behind Guy Drag at this point there in the orange. He's looking for a bit of a run. There's no run there. There's a bit of a gap there. Uh, I think that's uh, Splendour and Gold there as well. That's uh, his outside. He gets that gap now and really pushes through hard and chops down court quarterceps over the final stage. Keep an eye on Righteous Doctrine. He's sitting near the inside there. Uh, Red Elise out deeper, I think, as well, finishing off. That was a, a terrific win, though. It was. Splendour of gold down on the rail, too. Um, yes, it was a big photo, wasn't there, after that win with uh, the family and so forth. Mm. And uh, if... Uh... If the race uh, runs to suit, or even if it doesn't, he might well do that again. All right. So, uh, Splendour of Gold. So, so, we just saw him then. We can have a look at him um, in winning form over the 1,600 metres. Strong tempo on this occasion. He gets up to the 18 for the first time. Yeah. The thing that went against him last start was that he was a bit keen. He actually over-raced a little bit, and then he ended up down nearer the rail. You can see here he got clear galloping room out in the middle and really powered away for a strong win. Um, he's a four-year-old, Champion Supreme's a three-year-old. They're both talented young horses on the way forward. And you'd probably want to consider both of them if you're playing exotics. Yeah, because he was beaten favourite last time. A few things went, went against mm. him, but uh, he showed what uh, he's certainly capable of there. Yeah. All right, but well, Champion Supreme is the favourite to complete that hat-trick. He is. Um, it is a tricky little race, as Tom mentioned, because of the speed or lack of it. But I think, um, you know, just try and keep it as simple as possible. Champion Supreme... Dashed home strongly last start off the back of what wasn't an overly strong tempo through the first 400. Splendour and gold, super elegance, and I'll put Ping Hai Treasure in because he's in form. Uh, the surface is probably not ideal, but six, seven, nine, and uh, one. I'm going to throw in Vinci as well to that trio just because I think he could pinch a bit of minor money with the right run. Six on top for me as well, and that is uh, Champion uh, Supreme. If he gets a uh, half-decent run like he did there last time out from well back in the pack, uh, he'll be uh, winning this close to, I think, anyway. Uh, super Elegance, keeping him safe. Throwing in Vinci, I've tipped him a, a few times. He's back, uh, well, he's uh, been racing over 16, 50, 18 and 2,000. He's back here to 1,800. And I'll keep Righteous Doctrine safe as well. He stayed on nicely last start. So six, nine, two and five. Yeah, tricky race, uh, the 10th. But I'll go with Splendour and Gold up in trip. I think that will suit his staying power. Zach Purton from... Barrier 4. 
One more race to go then, race number 11, plus all the best bets. That comes up next.